Hey, what is up everybody? Welcome back to an episode of Pokemon Go. And in today's episode, we're going to do something a little different, a little, uh... I don't know, I feel, I feel like doing a couple videos that I haven't done before that I think would do really well. And from conversations I've had with a lot of people, I feel like there's a lot of things that some people just don't know exist in Pokemon Go. Or, they know exist, but don't know how to do it. So... Today we're going to do some top tricks in Pokemon Go and the first thing is actually I need to put down the camera to re-show how to do the fast catch glitch. Now this is a thing that happened years ago um, up in this video or over there maybe um, during like the Valentine's Day event and I'm going to show my phone right here. Now, uh, this happened years ago, and what you do is you click on the Pokemon, and then you're going to use one hand to slide across the screen, so like that, but you're not going to let go. With your other hand, you're going to throw the ball like you normally would, and then let go, tap the screen, run away. Now, that Pokemon that was there has disappeared. So now I'm going to go into my recents, my recents, and there is that Machop. We have just fast caught or fast catched that Machop. So now I'm going to do it again with this Mudkip, and this is a high CP Mudkip, so it probably won't work the first time, which is actually really good. So same thing. Just a little faster now. Now I'm going to click the Mudkip again. I haven't caught it, so it's still there. So I'm going to do it again. Slide across the screen. Throw like I normally would. Let go. Tap. Run. Check again. See how it just ran? Now that means it has either ran or it'll be in our recents. So that one actually ran. Sometimes when you do it, it will pop up as a little error code at the top of the screen. And it basically means the same thing. It's either been caught or it ran. There's a low tad. So that is how to fast catch. Now, I'm going to get set up a little bit and start walking through the trail. And uh, show you the next tip slash trick in Pokemon Go. Alright, so another thing that I really think that a lot of people don't know is a lot of the search strings in Pokemon Go. So while they have create, created quite a few uh, search strings in this recommended, and you can press the see more button, and you get all these things. These also all have their own unique search strings. So just like those things there, with like the one star, three star, etc. Four, an asterisk is a hundred percent Pokemon, which you've probably seen a lot of people do. But there are so many more, and one of the most useful ones currently, I think, are the Buddy and the Mega. So, if you type in Mega, and then, as you see in my recent like, um, like Mega One, Mega Two, Mega Three. So Mega 1 is any Mega Pokemon that you've Mega Evolved to the first stage. Mega 2 is your second stage Mega Evolutions. So like this Gyarados here, if I click on it, and I go check its Mega Level, it is currently Mega Level 2, and it's getting close to Mega Level 3. And then Mega 3, Mega 3, is going to be the Max Mega Pokemon. Which is super cool. I think this is a super useful uh, addition to the game. Now, you can also do this very same thing with Buddy Pokemon. So, Buddy 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So, Buddy 5 is going to be your best Buddy Pokemon. So, these are my current best Buddy Pokemon. I don't have that many uh, compared to some people who are level 49 and level 50. Now, Buddy 4 are going to be your Pokemon that are close to best buddy. So, uh, your ultra buddies. 
buddy three will be your great buddies. Buddy two will be the good buddies. And the buddy ones are just kind of Pokemon that you've played with. You know, they've been your buddy, but maybe nothing really exciting. Another thing is you can tap on this egg and speed up the egg animation. Just like that. <coughs> a very useful thing. Very cool. And I like it a lot. Gotta check this Rufflet spawn. Spicy. Now, on to the next thing. Is actually going to be in your settings. So in the settings, there are actually quite a few interesting things that... Um, I've personally done, and maybe you've seen just in this one video, that uh, the graphics are a lot smoother, and my battery is actually a lot lower. And that is because I've gone all the way down, all the way down, into Advanced Settings, and clicked this Native Refresh Rate button. This will allow your graphics to be, like, top level, super crisp, makes the game run a lot better, but also puts a drain on your battery. With that being said, there is also a battery saver mode that I never use. But there is a battery saver mode. There is also all these other neat little things, including the best glitch ever in Pokemon Go, which was around the same time as uh, the fast catch glitch, was the Remember the Last Pokeball glitch. Now, this is now a part of the game, finally. So I'm very excited about that. And so, when you have this option selected, I can go into this rufflet that I'm probably going to walk away from the spawn point of, click Great Ball, and then run away. Now, when I click this Mudkip, it's going to remember that I was using a Great Ball, and the Great Ball will be the first option. This is super great for community days, or if you find a nest with, like, very, like, hard-to-catch Pokemon, like, if you run into, like, a, a Torchic nest, or, like, a Charmander nest. Uh, so just Pokemon that are like kind of harder to catch, but like on a community day when you're just trying to catch everything um, and just trying to like make it as quick as possible and just go through your Ultra Balls, go through your Great Balls and then you know at the end of the day you'll have 840 Pokeballs because you've been using Ultra Balls and Great Balls and things that you probably shouldn't have been using <laughs> at myself. Um, like this 46 CP Mudkip, I had my Great Ball remembered so I should probably switch over to the Pokeball. And now, the Pokeball is the last thing that's been used, so now I remember when I clicked this Krogunk that I was using a Pokeball. It's super useful, and I think is a top trick or tip in Pokemon Go. Now the last thing that I kind of want to touch on in today's episode, because I also want to do separate ones for, start, for Stardust and for XP, because there are a ton of tricks and tips for gaining XP and for gaining Stardust that aren't necessarily like general tips. So, the very last one is when it comes to your buddy when you're walking it. Now, some people are like, what is this Poffin? Why do I need it? What is it? Why does Joe have 54 of them? Well, that's because I like to use, oh, I remembered exactly what, how many I had. Wow. I like to use, the golden raspberries or the nab berries. Um, so currently, my Metagross is my buddy, Shadow Metagross, 100% Shadow. Um, so when you give a buddy Pokemon a Poffin, it becomes excited. Now, when a buddy is excited, you'll see hearts all around the smiley face, um, and the amount of kilometers per candy is reduced to half. It also allows you to, instead of getting a total of 10 or 11 if you're getting like bonus ones, um, hearts, now you can get up to 20, 22 I believe I think is the max number. Um, so instead of needing to go out and walk six kilometers, get all your buddy hearts, battle it, take tons of snapshots and just like really be on it, you can skip that whole process by giving your buddy a Poffin. Now, the really cool thing about this Poffin is that it not only will allow your buddy Pokemon to become excited, 
it actually gives you six hearts right off rip because it completely maxes out the feeding stat. So when I go back into this, I now have the entire give your buddy a treat line that is maxed out. So now if I go into this and I were to battle, uh, battle this team rocket, instead of it being just one heart, it'll actually give me two hearts because when your buddy is excited, it will actually be getting two hearts per interaction instead of the normal one heart per interaction. Now I'm not gonna do that right now because I'm not interested in the rocket. I know there are some people who are like, Joe, you have to do the rocket. I'm sorry. Um, I have other videos to do. And I also wanna do my daily insects. Um, but that's gonna be it. And uh, as I continue my adventure with my Metagross, It'll just stay excited unless I switch buddies. If you do switch buddies, that excitedness will go away. And um, I actually have seen a couple snakes on this trail. So I do have to be a little uh, cautious of where I step. So I'm going to go ahead and call this video a wraps because I do not want to step on a snake. Uh, <laughs> but also that's pretty much it for the, the general things that I think a lot of people need to know. Now. If you're interested in it, I will also go over pretty much anything you guys want to know. If you want to, get, if you guys want to know, like all the, uh, that was a <laughs> little baby spider. Um, uh, if you guys want to know like type matchups, like my buddy, honestly, he's really great at PvP. Sometimes he just doesn't, no clue what is super effective against what, except for like from prior like battles. So if you guys want me to go over tight matchups, um, I am planning on doing a Stardust Tips and a XP Tips video, if this video goes well. Um, and yeah, that's going to be it for today's episode. If you did like it, go ahead and smash that thumbs up button. If you enjoyed the series, please subscribe. And as always, God bless. And see you for another episode of Pokemon Go.